This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Shippy versus Green. You all have been together for five years. You're engaged. You have two children together. And you have a wedding planned in eight months. But whether that wedding actually happens depends on what happens here today. Am I right, Ms. Shippy? Yes, sir. Right, you brought this case. Tell us why. Okay, well, I've been with my husband now for the last five years. We do have two children together. And my thing is this right here. If you're cheating on me, I need to know. Because I feel as though he's doing it with his wingman. Okay? I have my wedding book here today. Um, this is a G. And it stands for green, but it will be an S, meaning a no-go, if I find out that he is cheating on me today. Oh. Wow. So, so you, you... Yeah, you're ready to get married. You already referred to yes, him as your husband. I am. I have the venues. I have the dresses. Your Honor, you can take a look at my wedding book if you would like to. Right. Like, I won't be spending any money. Like, we'll stop everything. Thank you. Let's see what you got in there. Oh, yes, this is amazing. Yes. I want to come. I want, hey, I hope you're doing right because I want to come to this. She's got the venue. She's got the dresses. We're going to have horses and wine. Got the cake. Cheese. This cake is amazing. And a nice barn, you know? It's Sounds beautiful. Great. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Green. You can't be messing this up for everybody. I thought about the horses. You th oh, you you <laughs> contributing the horses yes, to this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have All a lot right. to do with that book too. All right. And yeah. you want to be there for it, right? Of course. Because she <laughs> says you may not be there for it, depending on what happens today. What do you have to say about that? Um, man, basically, I just have to say I'm ready to let my let her know how I feel about everything, you know, and let her know that I'm innocent. You know, the book doesn't have to go anywhere. I'm 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 doing everything I'm supposed to do as a man for her. I'm just ready to plead my case and let her know that. I bet that there's some things you've been doing to try to catch him cheating. Uh, definitely. I've All been... right, tell me about them. <sighs> yeah, I, I sniffed dirty drawers, a box. She in the bushes. Like, I'm in the... You right. Of she course. Like a, in the she bushes. in the bushes, of in the course. cut. Of acting course. like I can't see her. Of course. No binoculars, all her. I'm not gonna oh. be blinded. I'm not gonna be blinded in those women that find out 25 years down the line that their man done did them wrong and they didn't know nothing in the beginning. In the beginning, but um, I want to know now, so we can just squash this now. All right, what made you first feel like something has changed? Well, you know, I can start with this right here: the receipts that I found. All right. In my closet. Oh, now, they were dirty old receipts, and I threw them away in the trash can, but the one receipt that caught my eye was the one for $1,400 with the baby items. A $1,400 receipt with baby items? Yes. Okay. Now, I know we do have two children. I was about to say. But the dates don't add up. And if you don't mind, I can show you what I mean. Yeah. All right, step to the plasma. Yeah. So, when you say the dates don't add up... The dates don't add up, because they're not mine. But you have two kids... Mm-hmm. ...and you're sure they're not for your kids. I'm... I'm positive. All right, tell me why. Okay, I had... We had our first son, Jordan, okay? Uh, April 4th. Okay. All right? Okay, but the receipt was dated June 8th for newborn items. Now, that makes my son two months, okay? Now, if I was gonna do my shopping, I would've did it March, maybe February... You know? But but not two months after for infant baby clothes. And then on top of that, our second son, he wasn't even thought about until the first week of October. Because that's when I found out I was pregnant again with our second son. So it doesn't add up, Your Honor. So and I feel like there's a mystery baby on the loose. Okay, thank you, Ms. Shippy. To be honest, I, I don't even know how I could spend $1,400 on just straight baby clothes. She says she doesn't see Sounds the stuff, suspect. but well, it's we... bassinets here, it's, it's sleepers, it's clothes everywhere for both our kids. And I, I honestly feel like this may be a thing and not trying to make her, you know, look sideways or anything, but I feel like it's a thing because she might have went on a shopping spree without me. We okay, would. but no. Mr. Green, yeah, here's the I problem. Feel... A couple problems with that. Yeah. One, if she went on a shopping spree and bought these items, well, they'd be like... in your house. Mm -hmm. You'd be yeah, able to say, okay, you accusing me of this, but here, here's that, here's that, Thank here's you. that. Yeah. What Miss Shippy is saying is she's got a receipt showing fourteen hundred dollars worth of merchandise that's nowhere in your house. I don't have fourteen hundred dollars to spend on mere, merely baby clothes, purely baby clothes. We have to keep the house running with bills and a whole bunch of rent and but, everything but to keep kids. So what did you see? Yours. I, All right, I so what you're saying is the receipt fell into your pocket and then fell out your pocket into the floor. Is into that what you're closet. trying to tell us? That's not what I'm trying to tell you, Your Honor. I'm trying to tell you I have nothing to do with this receipt. Yeah, wait a minute. Yes, well, you may not have bought it, but did you give somebody 
or go with somebody and spend $1,400. No, I have no secret babies. I have no secret shopping sprees, secret Santas, no <laughs> secrets anything. I, I really don't, you know, I, I, I have nothing. Miss Shippy, so you believe he's conceived a baby with someone else and that's where this money went? Yes. Have you seen or found anything else that makes you think he's cheap? I, I did, I did. He's a good deeder, you know, during the week, Monday through Friday, but weekend, it's strip club time. Oh. With KJ. Oh. With KJ, his, his, his best friend. And, you know, he tells me everything I want to find out. So, you know, I'm, hey, what happened? You know, where was y'all at? And he's a fool. I mean, he'll tell me everything anyway. So his best friend is sticking with him, too. So you got yeah, miss... because on the weekends, that's when they go out. And he's cheating on me with his, the homegirls they have, all the stuff. Why I'm do you think parties. that? Parties. I'm, I'm seeing them do couple nights at bowling alleys. KJ sees all this stuff. He sees me sometimes, and he lets me know what I need to know about what it is that he's doing. What is yeah. KJ telling you? Because that's pretty unusual for I the mean, best friend I don't know if talk. I should believe him really, you know, because I do understand, like, if he's really a friend, like, why would he even be exactly. telling, I you know, me... The bro code! Yeah, but that's what he does. He tells me, and it's just like, I'm finding stuff, the friend's telling me stuff, I know they're gone all the time. Something isn't adding up. Yeah, I know, uh... I, I can understand where she's coming from completely, but for the most part, it, it, it isn't even really the case. Um, so why you know, can't we go chill on the weekend? I understand, but, man. Because what she's talking about is not but what, my, but what my problem is, the, what my problem is, uh, I, I just feel, you know, on the weekend, I kind of just want to be with the homies. Like, I just want to chill and breathe because but I feel know, like after right when I get off work, I got to go back home to defending myself. Well, let's get to the bottom of what know. this friend is saying. <laughs> Because we got your version. Yeah. And we got your version. Maybe it's time to hear from the friend's version. I and he's so. here right now. All right. All right. So. Ron, would you please Ron, escort we'll the friend in? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Got both <laughs> wrong. Okay. Sir? All right, Chris. We will see, baby. We'll go right up to the witness stand. Okay. How you doing? Good day, sir. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Have a good, good day. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Robert Taylor. KJ, that too. I, I was going to say, are you the, the, the talked about KJ? They like to talk about me, you know, but we all good. And you are the best friend of Mr. Uh, Green? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me and Chris, I've known Chris for a while. But I also consider, you know, a kid to be a sister to me, too. All right. Have you observed any of the things that Miss Shippy might have been doing to try to catch Mr. Green cheating. Okay. Yes, ma'am. As much as I like kids, you know. We were, we were going to bowling alley one day, me and Chris. You know, we're getting out, and I'm looking behind a tree. <laughs> behind a tree. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh my. So I just kind of stopped and tried to tie my shoe because, you know, you want to be sure to see if somebody behind a tree, you want to kind of know who it is behind the tree. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm like, oh my, that's Kia. You know, I can tell specifically because her hair was brown. Don't be fooled by the color today, it was brown. <laughs> you know, it was brown. Miss Shippy, were you hiding behind the tree? I was. And the tree was little. <laughs> oh, that's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was just being, you know, hyperbolic no. about it. No. You really no. are in the bushes. She was physically I'm behind to get the tree. In the next eight months. I need to know something now. All right, okay, so you see her behind the tree. Yes, All right. Well, Mr. Taylor, let me ask you this. Are you his wingman? Yeah. Am I his wingman? Yeah. Okay. No, sir. I can never be Chris's wingman. We have two different lives. You know, Chris, married. Well, almost <laughs> married. Almost we'll married. see if right. they get married based on what happens today. That part. Yes, sir. Ooh, okay, I got this. Yes, I got yeah. You. But he'll be single just like you and the rest of your friends, too. But you, you're not his wingman. No, I'm not his wingman. No, if we go out, I'm not influencing like, hey, Chris. They over there. You know, that's not my, that's not my intention. So, Mr. Taylor, uh, Ms. Shippy mentioned that you mentioned to her that you've seen Mr. Green doing some things with other women. I mean, what have you seen? Okay, well, yes, sir. Um, well, Kia, she's kind of convincing. You know, she called me one day. She was crying. I'm not even sure if those tears were real. She's real convincing. She was like, I need to know. I need to know. So tell me something about Chris. And I'm like... Okay, you know, I, I got a good heart. I look at her as a sister also. So I'm like, well, you know, 
when you went out of town for your riding trip, you know, me and Chris' birthday, they on um, mine right here. It's in March 22nd, 23rd, a day after each other. So I was like, yeah, you know, we did throw, a, I had like a little party. And um, I remember specifically before that party, Chris was like, hey, you know, make sure you just watch out for him, you know, um, make sure I don't do anything. But I'm single, you know, and I'm at a party, <laughs> and I kind of, you know, get under the influence. You know, we can speak, we adults, right, Judge? <laughs> Judge. So, okay, that go Chris, but I did see a girl, too. And I was like, oh. And what were they doing? Well, you know, they were just standing there at first, but I, I seen Chris's hand. You know, he kind of, like, grabbed the booty a little bit, and I was like, oh. Come on, And a KJ. kiss is what you told me, and a kiss, too. See, and Your Honor, and what else happened? I can't really explain me, the story. You tell me. And what else they, happened? The next day, you know, our birthday's apart, we had kind of had another party, because he was with me, and I was like, you know, she out of town, we're going to party. You know, we got drinking games going on now, and um, I, he wanted to participate. I don't try to influence any decision. You know, Chris, my boy, though, I still try to look out. Maybe I don't do the best job of that sometimes. You don't, bro. Uh, maybe I you don't. You don't at all, bro. That's cool, Chris. But, okay, then we, um, we playing spin the bottle. We playing spin the bottle. So okay. the bottle spin, poosh. And um, it goes past me. I was like, dang, I wish it would have landed on me. It landed right on Chris. And Chris was for, you know, he had to kiss this, he had to kiss another woman. And, and did he kiss this other woman? Tell the truth. Okay, so tell did the he kiss the other woman? Did he kiss the other woman, part. right? Okay, was it a kiss like, or was it a long, passionate kiss? It was, it was, we're gonna go two seconds, one second and a half. You know, one second and a half. Cause it should have been. It looked no like he second. maybe liked it a little no bit, second. but it was it was quick and it was it was. You're on the mic. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, Mr. Green. Did you kiss this other woman? No, Your Honor. My thing is, KJ just came up here, and I'm just, I'm, it, this is live <laughs> in effect. He just came up here and told a story. He just said she was crying to him and he made up a whole thing to make her feel better. He's yeah. playing both sides about something. So how could y'all even believe this second story about a party when he didn't even come up here truthful? Okay, and well, I haven't made a decision about whether I believe him or not. I've turned to you and asked you, did you kiss the other Not woman? at all, no, Your Honor. Was there another woman? No, Your Honor. Did you all go out for your birthdays? Yeah, we went out, yes, we did. Did you all party for your yes. birthdays? Yes, we did. Were there other women there? Yes. yes, there was. Did you grab one, hug him? No. Touch him on the bottom? Not at all. I can enjoy myself by myself. I think we have enough love. Okay. All right, what we got is she found a receipt for baby items that don't belong to either of their kids because they were bought in the middle, $1,400 worth of items. Then the final thing is she thinks Mr. Uh, Mr. Taylor is playing wingman, and he's like, no, I'm not doing that, but... I did see him playing spin the bottle, touching a lady on the bottom at our birthday parties, and among other things. And so I found thongs altogether, in my laundry room. You found who? Thongs in my laundry room after okay. the party. All right, so, and then, and, and this last piece of evidence, they were thongs that didn't belong to you, I presume, in the laundry room. And for all of those reasons, Miss Shippy thinks that Mr. Green is cheating. And she has said that if he is cheating, this lovely wedding that we got to look at, is not gonna happen. Yes. All right, no. there it is. Well, she came here to get some answers, and this court has done a full and complete investigation to get those answers. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Tommy Platt, to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> All right, Mr. Platt, how are you? Doing great, Your Honor. Good to see you. You asked Mr. Green, since the start of your relationship in December 2014, have you gotten another woman pregnant? What was his response to that question? He stated no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. We got some more to go. All right. You asked Mr. Green, since the start of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. Yeah. No, that's right. All right. He needs his boy. All right. Mm-mm. Is the wedding back on? The wedding is back on. All right, Ron, we better get us back to it. Thank you. Mr. Green, I 
I'm so glad because I really want to come and see the horses and everything. I thought hard down. about that part. I want you to come too. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Mr. Green, you've got to kind of divorce yourself from the single lifestyle. That was a bad choice of word, divorce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use a different phrase. You need to separate yourself from the single lifestyle because you're not single anymore. Yeah. To his point, he said, I just want to have a break because after a week of work, and other things, I want to kick it. So that makes me want to talk to Miss Shippy. If you want your husband to come home, you need to make it feel like home, where it's a place where he can relax and be with his family and want to be with you. We have counseling available for you to help you as you move forward so you can get ready for marriage and you can continue on with a happy, healthy, beautiful family life. Yeah, what are we going to do about KJ? Yeah. Let KJ be KJ. And just understand what you know, we got. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy, fulfilling relationship. Court is adjourned. Yeah.